What's up, guys, and welcome back to our Road to Dark Matter here in BO6. And in our last video, our top comment was from Golden, saying that they want us to get the Tarkov 762 gold, but we have to have a picture of Peck in the bottom left corner that grows with every second of the video. And I'm going to rug pull you a little bit here because we'll be getting that done as well as getting our launcher's diamond. You guys are just on a whole different level of evil, trying to make it so I can't even escape Peck here in multiplayer. But we should be getting our first diamond today. I'm just going to go ahead and get this weapon out of the way. Way. Uh, last thing I need to do for this gun is get 50 kills with our... What is this called? Which specialist is this? We need a 50 kills with our strategist specialist. And I think we might have just did it right there. Our other challenge was to get long shots, but I already knocked that out in hardcore. Uh, long shots, I, I got some PTSD with those since MW2. But it was only 15, so it wasn't too bad. And then on top of that, getting the 100 headshots. I'm probably going to try to get all the headshots uh for each weapon prior to the video each time because i doubt you guys want to see all 100 headshots and on top of that it just takes forever to do oh and there's our camo let's go but i think the more interesting challenges are going to be our special challenges and our mastery camo challenges which speaking of which our mastery challenge for this weapon, we need to get double kills to go ahead and get this gold which should not be too difficult here in hardcore assuming we can pull it off we are just getting slaughtered this game. I'm honestly thinking about just dipping out of this one and trying our luck in the next lobby because these people are not even letting us get close to a double kill. We have snipers on both sides. The, the middle of the house here is being taken over. I can't get through. Yeah, we're getting out. All I'm seeing is glares. This is a little bit more my speed. Hardcore Nuketown, we should be able to get this done pretty fast. It's not even that many double kills. It's just 10. Oh, but they're ready for us. It's been a bit since I've played a decent amount of hardcore. Uh, I've been really liking core in this game, but hardcore, I'm starting to get a feel for it. I'm starting to get back to it. I used to main hardcore back in the day, but honestly, the core in this game, the time to kill is relatively fast and it feels pretty fluid. So I've been uh, kind of just switching between the two, you know, whatever the challenge needs, because with this Tarkov gun, whatever it's called, it's actually been pretty decent in core. It's been able to like one shot if I can land the headshot, but uh, I'm looking more for the fast kill right now. As long as I can hit somewhere in the body and get a nice double kill, I'm fine with it. And then we're probably gonna have to stick to hardcore for at least a little bit today. That way we can still get these direct impact kills. You know what, let's go for one right now. Ooh, teammate didn't want us to have it. Let's just go for these a little bit while we're still working on our Tarkov. That way we're not just stuck with them. Oh, we got a direct impact kill on a teammate. Maybe that'll count. But I have been having a lot of people ask how to get direct impact kills or saying that that's like the worst challenge with these launchers. I didn't think it would be that hard, but I haven't really dipped my toe too deep into it because the rest of the challenges for the Sigma were very, very easy. It being a lock-on launcher in the first normal kill challenges that you need to get done is literally just getting kills and then shooting down streaks. It's literally either or. And then the first specialty camo for it is shooting down 10 aerial streaks or something like that. Super easy with the lock-on. And there we go. We're actually knocking out quite a few double kills right there. Let's keep it going and let's get this done. But I'm hoping we can knock out our first diamond class of the game and get the launchers out of the way because the launchers are always a pain in the ass to get done. Ooh, there we go. Nice little triple. I think they really need to bring back camo tracking in this game. It was such a great quality life feature that they added late into MW3. And it would help out a lot in this game because I feel like I'm getting pretty close to getting this camo done. And I want to know if the camo curse is messing with me or not. Because we are racking up those double kills very, very quickly in this game. And now it seems like we are slowing down. We're just getting one kill and dying. The camo curse has never been too nice to us. No way, dude. The railing just saved your life. Is that bulletproof there? There we go. That's another double. Are we done? Nope. I'm actually being edged over here. I feel like I am so close to getting this camo done. And these guys are not allowing me to get doubles. I feel like the game's close to ending. I'm hearing the clock tick down. And everybody's running SMGs all of a sudden. Oh, no. That's game. Come on. Like, look at this. I'm over here getting play of the game. We started out really hot. Getting a collat there. Knocking out multiple kills in their spawn. This right here, we should have just gotten the camo done. Another clat. Two of them. All right, what's the damage looking like? Where are we at on gold? Oh, we just needed two more. Come on, let's just get this done. That way we can just rip the band-aid off and do the launchers. Come on, one more. 
There it is. Show me gold. Or a rocket to the mouth. That works. Gold, please. Yes, sir. Let's go. All right, Sigma. It's your turn. We need some direct impact kills and we need them now. I actually don't know if this will be better in hardcore or core. So I'm putting myself in some pretty bad situations trying to get right up in people's face with this. That should be a direct impact kill, though. But if they got Flak Jacket, they're going to survive the first initial hit anyways. So is it better for me to just go to core? I guess we're going to find out. We'll see how long this takes. Because we're just going to be dying a whole lot attempting to get these direct impact kills. And it's only going to take them one bullet to take us down. Where with us, it might take two rockets to take them down. Actually, you know what? We could probably just switch over to face off and just hope that we get one of those really small maps. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Let's make sure that we got our gun gold, though. We did. Perfect. All right. We just need nine direct hit kills with this. Is Warhead actually the only face-off map that exists? I feel like I only get this. I want to see that one apartment map that everyone's getting. So I feel like just shooting it down one hallway where everyone's at is going to be way easier to get direct impact kills. But this could work right here too. What? Not even a hit marker? Not even going to give me that? That one's got to be one though, right? I want to see this from his perspective. You can hit with the mouth. Hit in the mouth. Ooh, okay. Are we actually nasty at this? Am I the best with the Sigma? Am I the greatest Sigma player to ever do it? Maybe not. Let's not, let's not start getting an ego, all right? We literally only have 10 of these direct impact kills to get, and I am going to talk myself into getting a lot more, or a lot less. Making it last a lot longer. My English, not there currently. Oof. I'm not seeing any medals pop up for direct impact kills, though. I feel like we're either just getting them or we're not. Come on, that's gotta be one for sure. Another one. There's a level up. Did we get our camo? Nope, we're getting teased. That's one for sure. A point blank and a headshot with it. I wonder if I were to get like a double kill, like if I were to direct impact somebody with somebody near them, would it count as two direct impact kills? Oh, just one, right? There's no way they'd be that generous. Oh, that's game. I want to see how many we got. We got about 13 kills there, maybe four kills with our Tarkov. I'm expecting at least six direct impact kills. How many are we at? Oh, okay. We're at six. We had one going into that game, so we only had five out of those maybe eight kills. I guess I'll take it. All right, this is a bit of a smaller face-off map. We should be able to get way more direct hits. There we go. That should be seven, so three more. Ooh. Oh, there's a double kill. We actually get to see our theory in action. Are we done with that? Are we good? Nope, we at least need one more. Ooh, come on. I hit feet there. Do feet count or is that splash damage? This should count. What? The camo curse is beating the shit out of me today. I can't get nothing going. There we go. Maybe I just needed to complain. Show me gold or whatever. Whatever the camo is. Really? No way. I'm calling bullshit. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Just one more direct impact kill. Let's just get this last kill and get out of this game. That way we can hop on new count and just start shooting down some UAVs. Here we go. That's it. Show me the camo. Thank you. We're out of here. Thank God it's still counted. All right. Three destruction, score streak, or vehicle in a single match. You gotta do that 10 times. Now, if I learned anything from grinding out the three score streaks in a game for our HE1 launcher, it's that I actually still need to put up some kills in a game. I need to keep my SPMM kind of at a, a spot where players actually kind of know what's going on. And I don't, I don't really care if they're messing me up too bad. I just need to look like I'm performing, at least to COD. That way I can still get into lobbies where people know what a score streak is. And while I'm waiting for score streaks to go up, I'm just going to snipe around a little bit. Oh, UAV, first one of the day. Call in 40 more of those, please. Just got to make sure that we are well aware anytime a score streak goes up. I got engineer on, so hopefully I'll be able to see it or at least get that extra reminder. And I got to pay a little attention to that top right whenever one comes in. Ever since that first UAV, not a single other score streak has been called in. Not one, despite them kind of beating our ass a little bit. Eh, we're only a two kill difference, but still. My team's called in like 80 UAVs. I haven't seen a single one past that first one. But they are feeding me. Oh, here we go. We got some demons in this lobby. They got UAVs going up. Two UAVs. I I need to switch to a grenade so I can take myself out whenever there's actual streaks up. Please, somebody kill me. Please, somebody kill me. Please, I need ammo. Thank you. That's going to fly away. No, it literally just despawned. Come on. 
get to that UAV before it leaves. Let's go. You're next, Hilo. This should be three right here. And if they keep it up, we should be able to get all of them or at least two of them this game. Like this is probably going to be the only time in my grind that I'm begging for people on the other team to just be absolute demons. I want to go against pros. I want to see nothing but enemy streaks in the air. I just know this game is got some crazy SPMM algorithm to make it so I play as long as possible because I'm not going to stop playing until I get these launchers diamond and they're putting me in lobbies where just at the beginning, you know, a, a few streaks might come in and now still hasn't seen a single one since those those two uavs in that helo that spawned in at the very beginning not a single one since what an insane algorithm how do they know all right that should be a decent game maybe we got two progress towards the 10 i think we took down six streaks oh we actually got three no way we had nine you know what let's not let's not question it we'll take the w's where we can get them oh they already got a harp up Please put me in more lobbies like this. Look at all these streaks. That's what I want to see. Put me in lobbies where our team is getting decimated. I want to be in lobbies where people are crying. We just spawned in and already got two streaks down. Please don't let that be the end of it. Ooh, here we go. That's three. And we should have that counter UAV as well. We're at four. Any more UAVs in this guy? Nope. All right, that's game, but I still think we might have gotten two towards our, our 10. We just need to shoot down 12 more score streaks. If we can get 12 score streaks in one game, we'll be done with gold. I need to get three kills in a single match 10 times. Oh, that's so easy. I think going forward, I'm backing out of any game that is TDM. Nobody's calling streaks in in TDM. Not a single person. Actually, you know what I'm getting out of here now? All right, we got hard point. This should be way better than TDM. Everybody has way more time to build up some streaks. And we have the possibility of getting more than just three in a game. Let's see if this works. Please fall in UAVs. They gotta have some sitting over there. Ain't no way they have zero streaks. Am I in like a, a limited time mode where streaks don't exist or what? This entire game of hard point. Not a single streak. Not one. Not one UAV. Not one counter UAV. I might as well just leave. I'm out of here actually. Oh, I cannot tell you how much I despise camo challenges where I have to rely on what somebody else is doing. Not only do I just need to shoot down score streaks, but I need to shoot down both of them per game. And on top of that, I need the other team to be doing better than our team. I need them to be getting on enough streaks. That way I can shoot them down. But if I feed them too many kills, I give them enough kills for a streak. Then all of a sudden it's going to be putting me in lobbies where people have no idea what a streak is. I can't win. I literally just need to take down 12 more score streaks and then I can just go for kills myself. And then the camo challenges are all on me. But no, the game don't want me to do that. They want me to struggle through these lobbies waiting for a lone UAV to pop up. Maybe even just two UAVs. That way, I'm still searching for that third one and I'm not getting all those score streaks in the game. I'm gonna try pleading with these guys too. Please call in UAV. Jeez. This game seems like a lost cause too. Not a single UAV up this entire game. I'm bringing out the nuclear option. I'm turning on voice chat. We're going to have to socialize if we want this. Unless we get thrown in a game in progress. I can't beg them to put on a score streak mid game. But maybe there's already some in the air. Not looking like it, but they're messing our team up already. I'm getting spawn killed instantly. Please call some stuff in. Please call in streaks. I called on UAV while I was typing it. No, please let me shoot it, please. This is even worse, actually, if you're not gonna let me take it down. There we go. They said no. Please. That's actually gonna be so messed up if they don't call in any streaks now. I'm not gonna let you get camos. Why, though? Oh, two UAVs up. They listened. Maybe they're just messing with me. That's at least two score streaks already. Keep them coming. And now I'm competing with somebody else using a launcher. Come on. I actually cannot win. Please let me be free from this hell. I know we'll get the diamond camo done so fast. Actually, I shouldn't even say that. The camo curse is listening. They do not want to see us winning. Oh, this is beautiful. This is the game we've been begging for. Oh, and there's gold. Let's go. All right, we just need our kills. Oh, thank God. And that's game. All right, that's fine. As long as we got out of here with gold, it's smooth sailing. Hopefully. Oh, that's so beautiful. What a sight to see. Now, let me make sure I'm not just reading this wrong. It is just three kills in one game, correct? I wish I could read it. Yeah, three kills in a single match, 10 times. Okay, 
We can do that easily. Let's go to hardcore. Let's lock in and get this done. If we can get 30 kills somehow, we can get this done in one game. And just in case we run out of ammo, I'm switching from a stim to a smoke. And I'm going to try to use this as a melee weapon because those should still count as kills for our camo as long as it works like every other year. It is a lot harder to get a shot off though in hardcore. They are instantly taking me out. Maybe we are better off just playing in core. This is brutal. I'm getting killed before I can even launch a rocket. I'm getting one tap by everything. I'm gonna stick this game out, but I, I'm moving back to core after this. Ooh, eat that. Okay, that's one game done. I literally only had seven kills, so we should have two full games done, or at least two, three kills in one game. Oh, awesome, sick. Okay, we're gonna fly through this, hopefully. I'm gonna get too cocky. Back to Nuketown. And now they're throwing us in another game in progress. I won't care too much about it if they can still allow me to get kills. Just a few. I just need a little bit. Not asking for a lot. I shouldn't have been sitting here begging for uh, lobbies where we're getting hammered because now we're getting it when we don't need it. Oof. What a flick. Well, you know, hitting flicks with a Sigma like this. Nobody. And melee kills? Never mind. We're not getting that many melee kills. The melee swing is too slow. There we go. Ah, uh, come here. Sit. You also come here. Nope, stop running faster than me. I don't appreciate that. Oh, guess what? Back shots. First back shots of the day. Enjoy that. We got 14 kills this game. We're actually smacking people. Oh, we're almost there. Come here. I do. Okay. Pull out the knife, why don't you? It's cool that we got a dedicated melee spot and everything, but it's making it so much worse to get these camos done. That is unintended consequences, I feel like. There's all these little subtleties to make grinding launchers worse. Let's go. And another one. Let's go on a streak, why don't we? Beautiful. Let's go. We're getting close to diamond on this. I can smell it. Just don't be screwing me over, game. We don't need that. Beautiful. Caught him while he was diving. Come on. That's gotta be diamond, right? We've gotten so many kills this game. We're at 20. How many multiples of three is that? Oh, there's diamond, baby. Let's go. Our first diamond. And it's on this shit-ass weapon. Let's bring out the HE-1. Hopefully this is easier. It should be able to shoot faster than our Sigma does. But it's still gonna do the same amount of damage. Ooh, we're already in a groove though. It's too late for them. There's no saving them. Oh, maybe Flak Jacket's saving them. What a beautiful sight. Our first diamond, so we can get a nice little calling card. And our first diamond launcher. Oh no. I am not looking forward to this dark spine challenge. We need to get five destructions in a game three times. At least it's only three times, but goddamn. Five of them? I'm gonna lose my mind when we get to dark spine. Beautiful. Fart smeller, that's my guy right there. Dude, don't got flak jacket on, and he's always letting us get these kills. He is single handedly gonna help us get to diamond on these. And if I can help him out too, that's great. He's getting a few kills on me. We got a symbiotic relationship going on. There's my boy. Oh, there you go. Take one on the house. We're actually flying through these right now. Are we going to get it done this game? We gotta. Check this out. About to be a, a sick direct impact. Nope, I whiffed. I whiffed hard. This one though, for sure. Nope. Oh, Sar Saros Sar? It might be me. Maybe they'll help me out here. Sarozar, come eat some rockets. They're on the menu and they're free of charge. How is that not a kill? Come on. Beautiful. Thanks, Saro. Ah, I'm using it as a sniper now. We're nailing these shots. Okay, we're, we're nailing some of them. That was a fat whiff right there. Is that diamond? Please? Is not? That might be. Okay, maybe I'm uh, misjudging the amount of kills we have with this this game. We have 26, actually. That's a pretty fat multiple of three. Are our melee kills just not counting? Did they fix that? Do I actually have to get them all with rockets? I feel like it should still work. But if we get up to 30 kills, there's no way they can say that we didn't get all of these in this game. What? A point blank rocket's not gonna kill? I have to get the extra melee to it? Wait, there's a level up. And another kill. Please be diamond. Dude, you gotta stop playing with me like that game. Either show me the camo 
Or get the fuck out of my face. I don't want to see any other unlock besides diamond. We're at 32 kills. Come on. What do I got to do to get a, a diamond camo around here? Is it a different challenge entirely for the HE1? I feel like it can't be. There's no way. Absolutely no way. I am actually starting to think that those melee kills are not counting. But I feel like we haven't gotten that many melee kills. It's been difficult for us to get melee kills. We've been doing nothing but sending rockets people's way. And this game is about to end. Or it's starting to play the, the end of game music. We gotta get diamond before this game is over. If we don't, I feel like we're gonna be trapped in hell for a lot longer. Oh, there's diamond! Let's go! Our first class complete. Beautiful, dude. You know, I'm finishing the game out with the launcher. We'll see how many kills we can get up to the, the end of it. But what a weight lifted off my shoulders. I'm so glad we're done with it. We will have to come back to it at some point, and it's going to be rough. It's going to be really rough. Getting five score streaks in a game three times is going to take, like, hours, I feel like. But we are completely done with them for now. We have to do every single other gun in the game before we have to return to the launchers. Thank God. All right, let's take a quick little peek at our Tarkov here, whatever the hell it's called. It's a decent weapon, but it definitely got thrown to the side here today because we went and got the most beautiful thing in the world. It almost going to bring a tear to my eye. Look at this Sigma right here. Absolutely beautiful. And we got it all in diamond. Diamond camo actually looks so good in this game. I'm glad it doesn't look as crazy. Uh, as it did back in Cold War. And I hope that when Warzone integration comes out, it don't look anywhere near what Diamond looked like in Warzone originally. Because that was terrible. I don't know how they messed up the, the texture that bad. But holy shit, we got it. Nothing can hurt me anymore. And here it is on the HE1 as well. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely pristine. What a great looking camo. I, I just can't believe we got it done already. This this camo grind is going to feel like so much fun now that that's out of the way, hopefully. But there you have it. I've been freed from the hell that is the launchers. We are completely done with them until we reach Dark Spine. Once we get the Dark Spine, it's going to be all, like a whole wound being reopened. But, you know, we'll deal with that when we get there. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate our love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.